Yo, what's up YouTube? So it's been a couple of days already. I forgot to wake up and it was way too crowded because we had a holiday Wednesday and a lot of people had free from Wednesday till Saturday. So I couldn't probably vlog and I'll be training triceps today. So let's get inside and pump those muscles up. Okay, triceps. Just going to be easy on the machines and one cable exercise. Don't want to do a lot of cable exercises or dips at the moment. I did my biceps like 10 minutes ago with my coach for once. But last week I wasn't. I was talking about it that I didn't want to use the machines a lot. So let's make a difference for once and use the machines. We are doing this slowly and not that high a weight because I can actually max out this machine but the reps aren't as they should be. So today we'll be going to that Halloween party. I'll Maybe show some pictures on feet or how well it's called. Because I think it's funny to see how I look with some makeup on. But I've tried to record a couple of times this week, but it just didn't happen. But I've got some nice video ideas coming up that I came up with like three days ago. But we gotta wait like two weeks for one and another one until we get the stuff. But I hope you guys are going to enjoy that one. But on this exercise, it's actually really easy. You push it, push it down like a tricep dip. But just go 90 degree with your elbows. I see a lot of people going outside with their elbows, but that isn't how you do this exercise correctly. You can also move these closer or wider, but it's your own preference. My shoulders are wide, not from the muscle, but the structure of how I'm built. So I, I go for a wider grip like this, but it is how it feels good for you. Maybe there are people with the same white that do them like this. But I do them like this because it's my own preference. I haven't done these in like a year now. We got like two tricep machines. This one and some extensions. We got always training them on the cables because that's what feels good for me. And as you can see, Beard season is over because all the makeup that I'm getting on my face this evening to get the costume perfect, we need to shave. And my stupid ass, got me, I got myself bleeding like fucked out because I don't shave that much. I'll do the last set of these and then go to a different exercise. Let's do some extensions now and then we'll be doing some cable exercises. Okay, I actually waited for way too long on the cable machine. But let's do some push downs now. And I actually, my good friend is here, the one that almost broke my camera like two months ago. And he was already flaming me. So, from one side, I want to visit the guy for real and real hard but let's not do that I'm actually going to do two 
cable exercises for once. No, not for once, but I was even saying we'll be doing two cable exercises and if it's not too crowded, let's do the other machine that we got here. Sometimes fun because the machine actually felt really good. And I'm not going to waste too much time today also, so I wanna make it quick. Good contractions. I wanna be so like hell tomorrow. But I don't know why not more people use a grip like this because I can give a nice contraction when I'm doing them with this. <laughs> oh my god, the dude. But giving a contraction on my triceps is the most important part, I think. Because in the past I could push it down like an idiot. And it would get pumped an hour but actually didn't feel a lot of exercises but now since the last six months I've been feeling the contraction of all my muscles a lot better and if you want to grow in the gym here you should focus on that a little bit more because once you focus on the mind muscle connection it actually goes a lot smoother here and what you can do on this exercise is stand straight and proud don't push down with your body weight alone make the exercise easier but not better So try to stand like this, push down and the rest is history because then you're really doing your exercise properly and you're going to grow a lot more because if you stand like this you can see that you're moving your weight a lot. But also these are the little tricks you need to learn. I'm trying to find a lot of more tricks that I've found over the years but for me they are like every, an everyday routine so it's normal for me so I actually need to watch beginners or people that haven't here for a couple of years and see what they do wrong so I can give you guys some advice let's do the last set of these is really burned and that's a nice part of this. Let's do some single handed now to give a little bit more stretch because I'm doing them a little bit different than what people do. But let's not wait too long. So how I do this, I actually take the cable and I stand a little bit farther away. So I can give a longer stretch. So if you stand here, it's a lot harder to give a proper stretch. With this one, I stand and it's most like the other that I stand straight and the only reason that I'm doing that is because I want to use the full range of motion doing three 
three sets. So, shouldn't get too sweaty. But I actually need to get my routine back in proper form because I can't film here because there are always some guns that are annoying people. Um, I don't want to deal with them because they can stay nice if needed, but do you actually want to stay nice even if they are behaving like a cunt? I actually don't think so. The nice part about having my camera here is that I can see my exercise a little better. And when I'm at home, I can see what I'm doing wrong myself. Like with the deadlifting a week ago, I could break my back like that. So, one more set to give it all, and then I think I'm going to just cough. mindset talking it's always something good to have because it's from my experience and if you can learn from my experience you need to go through it again or if you just want to try it then you can try it but I won't recommend it because sometimes I talk about positive stuff but mostly about negative stuff because from the negative, negative stuff you can learn a lot more than from the positive stuff. If you can take those ex as examples, you can actually grow. I learned from other bad, bad examples, like on parts of girls, drinking, other mindset, self-improvement, around that stuff. You can start with this one. This one is going to feel really heavy. As you can see, I can't get my arms straight anymore after the last one. That's if you, that's what you want to achieve. At least I think so. Right, see you guys at the car. All oh, right, so we are back in the car. So. I want to show, wanted to show a lot more exercise, but the dude was really annoying me. Like, I was filming, and he is looking at me from, like, oh, maybe put the car first on. I was already thinking, why am I not driving? But he was looking at me from the whole other side of the gym, so he's actually annoying me a lot. He's the only cunt in there that annoys me and it, it's just pissing me off a little bit like I'm just doing my thing I want to improve my gym quality the content is an extra because I want to see how I did it like I'm filming now I want to see how long it takes to get big how I did it what was my mindset now and maybe I can learn for myself but people like that annoy me. I try to stay calm, not to be a cunt. But yeah, he was already cursing me. I started smiling because I'm at some point a little cunt myself. But I'm not telling people what I'm thinking most of the time. Because why should I put some more hate in the world? It's no good, not good for anything. So 
why hate people if you can just laugh at them? Because if you know that you're in the right, you're doing nothing wrong, then why should you care about what other people think? But I was pissed off. It what happened, what happened, happened. And it's from the past, nothing I can do about it. But if he keeps annoying me every time, I'm just going to fill in another complaint. And it is what it is. If he needs to find another gym thanks to that, then he just needs to stop being a cunt. But so we had biceps with my coach today. I didn't show it because he, he just want, doesn't want to be on camera. Uh, but we did like eight exercises. It was really crazy because normally I do like two or three. So it was really weird for me to do that many exercises for my biceps. But I got a really nice pump. But I'm not that sore. So his way of training is not mine. But that's why we're all different persons. You need to find what you want to do. If you find what you want to do, you're going to enjoy it and you will grow a lot better. It's easy as that. It's not uh, rocket science. And yeah, after that we did the triceps. I also did some weird exercise called a uh, dumbbell kickback or whatever it is called. Uh, so you get a dumbbell and you just extend your arm. I don't know. He wanted me to try that one, but it just feels weird for me. I don't like the exercise, so I'm not going to keep doing it. I have my ultimate tricep routine, and that's the single-handed cable extensions, the, uh, how is it called, the pushdowns with that weird kind of attachment on it, and then uh, extensions bended over, you know what. It's been already a long morning, but you know what I mean, like, like I told, it's not rocket science. But the machine, for once, did really good, so I understand why people use a machine, but it felt good, but I don't think I'm going to be using it a lot. It, it, it is the same like doing a dip, almost, so I would rather do some dips with some weight on it. But now I'm going home, going to make some dinner. I've tried like to eat, to eat, what am I saying? To eat like eight eggs every day. But I can't do that anymore. It's way too fatty and I start to dislike the taste of it. But from next week on, I'll be trying to vlog a little bit more. Maybe not always in the gym, but now that I can go now that I got my weird construction ready, where, where I'm filming it now, I can do a lot more and that's also easy. But I don't think that it's going to be staying like this. But who knows if it stays, I can vlog and I can talk a little bit. So it's a win-win and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But. I'm also going to end the vlog here today because it's really crowded on the road and it's best that I focus on the road. So I'll see you guys later this week.